Cheng Xie is a unique conceptual artist. Born in 1950, he came to the US from Taiwan as an illegal immigrant. He traveled to New York City and, after a thinking period, began his performances under the pseudonym Sam Xie. While not directly influenced by Zen Buddhism, his works embody the aesthetic values emphasized in Zen art and practice, and his journey mirrors that of Zen to North America. Zen is a sect of Buddhism that has grown to produce much art, poetry, gardens, and various aesthetic ideals. The basic ideas of Zen, such as minimalism, meditation, and the exploration of the human condition, are brought to life visually by the direct or abstract artistic means. We try to tell the truth in some way, to touch a part of it, to not be so typical. This kind of work is not about suffering, it is about existence. My idea is that time becomes the main thing. How I pass that time is my concern. It doesn't matter what I do, the time passes. The art of De Ching Xie has a meditative quality to it as it spans over one year or thirteen, where he deprives himself in some way of an element of his everyday existence which involves a great deal of mental energy and self-discipline. His five one-year performances are Cage Piece, Time Clock Piece, Outdoors Piece, Rope Piece, and No Art Piece. In his 13-year performance, he made art privately for that period of time, and now does not allow himself to make any more art anymore. In Rope Piece, he ties himself to another artist with an eight-foot rope, and they cannot touch each other. In Cage Piece, he does not permit himself to do anything besides the basics of survival and thinking. He is comparable to a mountain hermit, in that through each of his performances he is attempting to isolate himself in some way. While doing this piece, thinking was my favorite job. It doesn't matter what I was thinking about, but I had to continue thinking. Otherwise, I would lose control, not only of myself, but also the ability to handle the whole situation. What I need from the cage was the use of my confined body to carry out this work, while at the same time, my mind, detached from this confinement, was free to think and to advance. I am still isolated in my own way, here and there, performance artists will or editors will come by and say hello, but I don't know much from about the outside. I am still the same. <laughs> An outdoors piece, he lived only outdoors, and did so on the streets of New York City. Having been in the army for three years, and having lived through rough conditions as an illegal immigrant for several years, also having done construction work for a living, I was adjusting to a tough situation. In his book, Out of Now, co-authored by Adrian Heathfield, Heathfield writes, Chier's journey transects the liminal space of the pedestrian jumble, a space that itself defined by embodied movements and transactions. Chier inhabits the street, he is not just moving through it. The Zen idea of the middle way is embodied here by Xie. He is promoting non-duality by moving between the conventional truth 
and the ultimate truth, and towards an enlightened state. There is a degree of suffering in his performances, and he is operating under the premises of, in his own words, My one-year performances presented by different perspectives of thinking about life, but they are all under the same premise. Life as a life sentence. interviews, Shia has said, however, that his work is not about suffering. It is about existence, the human condition, and survival. 